What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we're going fishing and we're going fishing in Florida. It's windy, but let's go see if we can catch them. We're on the board. Thanks, dude. It is windy. That guy right there on that, uh, that's that uh, swim jig by Mega Bass. Got the underspin on there. Let's see if we can catch another. Spinner bait. Thanks, dude. Tip for you guys <clears throat> take a black Sharpie and you can paint your braid as soon as it starts getting like that off color green. You can take this Sharpie. and color your braid black. And it really helps as that braid fades uh, to decrease the visibility in the water. I just do like, I don't know, three feet or so. But uh, black Sharpie is your friend. All right, guys, I gotta show you this. Sitting here fishing this bank, and I'm like, man, it looks really, really good. And I start hearing this sound, and uh, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Well, there's some rain, but you guys see that boat right there? That is a shock boat. And what that does, it has a big generator on it. See that guy right there, I believe? Has two metal arms that come down into the water and uh, it'll pretty much stuns all the fish. It shocks all the fish and they float up and then someone on the front uh, nets and they do uh, studies. They do counts, size, they uh, just document what, you know, what's in the fishery. But if you're fishing in that area, it sucks. Go to the other end of the lake because literally uh, it's super loud and they are, got a helicopter too. It's, um, 
it's super loud and obviously it, it stuns all the fish and just really shuts down the area. So when you think your bite is tough and then you see the shock boat, lights out, go somewhere else because it is game over. Uh, you know, back when I was still with, uh, with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, I got to do several of the shock boat studies and it's really cool. You get to see, you know, all the fish that you're not catching, right? Um, and, uh, but it's a really cool deal if you're not fishing. But like I said, they're over here, they're shocking, they're seeing what's in the lake and uh, the, it doesn't hurt the fish. It literally just stuns them. They net them, they put them in a big, big live well and then they, um, you know, how we used to do it, we would do a timing, you know, a certain amount of time, we'd shock for say five or 10 minutes, shut it off, count all the fish, measure them, document them, and then release them. So, uh, but yes, right there, that is a shock boat. Those of you guys that have been fishing around a shock boat know what I'm saying, it's time to go somewhere else. Nothing to ride home about. Thanks, dude. But it's a bass. I just switched up colors. Went with that uh, green pumpkin shad instead of black blue and uh, put that little spunk shad on. And I was actually just hopping that jackhammer and uh, got him. You know, it's never good in Florida when you have to put on a hoodie. Florida bass don't like cold weather. We got wind, cold weather, rain, shock boats, but we're catching fish. Small ones, but we're catching them. on the old gambler on the underspin. Thanks, dude. Little trick for you guys. I went with the Colorado Blade. It's a gold blade underspin. It's that owner, flashy swimmer. But I took a Sharpie and colored 90% of it black, just so it's got a little, little bit of flash of gold, but not a ton. You know, this water, even though it's it's tannic, it's or, uh, kind of that rusty color it's still fairly clear so I thought that that uh, big gold Colorado blade was too much flash so colored that with the sharpie and got bit within the first few casts I swear guys Florida weather is bipolar so uh, I'm gonna kill the camera so the mic doesn't get all wet throw on some rain gear uh, hopefully this passes soon but um, I swear this weather is crazy it seems like it changes every like 17 minutes Missed that one.
That fish ate it three times before it actually ate it. It's do do do. It actually felt like a bluegill bite, and then finally hit it hard, and I got it. But uh, now we need to find some big ones. I missed this fish last cast. Never saw it, but felt the bite. Thanks, dude. I'm fishing grass. Like, I don't I don't know what it is. I brought that bait back through, and it ate it that time. Switched from that chatter bait to that, uh, that underspin, and they seem to be liking that flash. Again, just need to get the bigger ones. That was like a four to five pounder. Dang it. Oh. That one stinks because it's it's just a tough day with the with the cold, the weather conditions. Caught five or six, I think six fish now, and uh, finally got the good bite and just came up and shook it. It happens. I'm liking the activity though. This is the most bites I've had in the last, you know, been out here probably on this part about an hour and a half and have two fish in the boat and uh, missed two other ones, so four bites, so. Finally, this wind is slowing down a little bit that it's not white capping. You know, I'm just fishing a big flat out here. And, um, you know, when it's white capping in the shallow water, it really beats those fish up. But uh, now that it's settled down just a little bit, I think these fish are getting active. Hit the old jackhammer. Thanks, dude.
nice one. Ate that jackhammer. That Zayko. Thanks, dude. Jackhammer and Zayko's putting in work. I literally threw backwards to get a backlash out. That fish ate it. Ten pounder. There's a big one. <laughs> Hook just came right out. <laughs> nice fish. All right, guys, gonna wrap it up on that big one. Feels good to end the, finally catch a good one. I uh, I missed two earlier. I had one that was four to five, maybe four to six. Just eat the underspin and come off. Uh, today's been a grind. Anytime you're in Florida and you got the hoodies out, you got the rain gear out, got rain, wind, shock boats, today's just been a day but uh, we grinded through it and I think we caught I don't know um, maybe eight to ten fish or so maybe maybe a little more I'm not sure but uh, that last big one ate that guy right there I had to change up my chatterbait you know I'm fishing a grass flat and I was throwing a half ounce and I was just having too much trouble getting that uh, thing coming through the grass you know 
the jackhammer, what's so nice about it is that blade starts really quickly when you engage the reel, but when you're down in that grass, you're always having to pop it free. So I actually downsized, went with a 3 8 little smaller size, uh, and then I paired it up with that uh, Yamamoto, that Zayco, and that's what I caught that last big one on. Uh, earlier, I was throwing the half ounce with the spunk shad. I caught a couple fish on that, missed a couple on it, but to that, and then, not that guy. Caught him on the, uh, really like this setup. This is actually a uh, St. Croix Victory. It's a 7.4 heavy, fast action. And I paired it up with a 70 MGL with uh, some light braid and a, a mono leader. But I was throwing this guy right here. That's that gambler on a uh, underspin. Like I said, go with that gold, but I put a little bit of black on it. I felt like that gold was just too shiny, so I doled it down with that black Sharpie, and um, that caught caught some fish on that, caught a few back-to-back -back on that. Caught them on the spinnerbait. The under, I caught them on a few different things. What do we else we got? This guy right here. Um, and then the, uh, the spinnerbait. You know, with this wind, just some flash and vibration was really, really key. <clears throat> that's that, uh, that's that Mega Bass spinner bait, and then I paired it up with that Damiki, that Armor Shad in that, uh, I think it's a bluegill color, but again, I'll link everything down below in the video description, but that was my, that was my lineup today, and it was a grind. All in all, a great day. Had some dinks at first, but uh, powered through it and got some big ones, guys. But uh, crazy weather, crazy conditions, but all in all, a success. If you guys like this video, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.